Hey guys, welcome to our first Dev Diary session. Uh, we're going to start putting these videos out, you know, just to keep you guys informed of the progress we're making week by week and just how the development's going. Uh, I know some of you are interested to hear what we get up to and some of you are quite keen on following the development process so you can have a bit of insight into, you know, what goes into making a game. Uh, there'll be a written blog that should run parallel to these Dev Diary sessions and that'll be up on the site and these videos will be uploaded here to YouTube. So today we're going to show you what we've been getting up to in the last couple of weeks and uh, where we stand at the moment. We're going to take a look at some of the new interiors for the Vanguard spaceship. We're going to have a look at uh, the landing gear system and how that works. We're going to get a preview of what space is looking like and take a look at some of the nebulas and asteroids and the things you can find while exploring. So sit back guys, here comes Dev Diary 1. So here we are guys, space. So this is our basic space setup so far. Uh, as you can see, we have our asteroid system in place, and these continuously spawn as you travel throughout space. Uh, they're also animated, and they move and rotate as you fly past. So this is going to be a lot of fun when you're in space combat and dogfights, and you know you have to dodge all these asteroids, and you can weave around them and use them for cover and things like that. Um, asteroids also will contain uh, materials that can be mined, and uh, they'll be important in the crafting process. And when you're attempting to upgrade your equipment or craft new things, um, certain asteroids have certain materials and minerals that you'll need. Um, over here you can see uh, we've got one of our new space nebulas so um, different nebulas are going to be different colors and different sizes and shapes and um, we do have plans for these to uh, affect the ship so negatively you might start losing shields periodically as you enter one of them or one of them might cause another effect and things like that and um, there are plans also to have them uh, affect the crafting of materials in certain ways so if you're trying to uh, upgrade a weapon or something like that if you fly into a particular nebula you might get a bonus to that weapon but um, it'll be dangerous but um, the risk will be worth the reward. So um, space is going to be uh, an endless dynamic system. So this is the beginnings of that. So if you keep flying, you'll always encounter something, uh, be that a group of, you know, murderous bandits or like a, a friendly caravan that you can trade with or uh, like a derelict space vessel that's been abandoned. There's always going to be something to find and something to explore. Um, however, the further you get away from Last Watch or, you know, one of the nearby planets, the less chance is going to be of finding, you know, your basic resources like food and water. So you're going to have to be really careful before you just go wandering off or, you know, on a big adventure. You need to supply yourselves and get ready. So, um, yeah, guys, this is what uh, space is looking like right now. OK, so that was space. Uh, here we are once again, as some of you might recognise this, as the Last Watch hangar bay. So here we have our first ship, as she is, the Vanguard. And uh, this is going to be a demonstration of how our landing gear system works. So when you touch your ship down, we want you and anyone that might be sort of nearby to really feel the weight, you know, of this huge ship coming down and, you know, onto the planet's surface. And um, so Matt, has been creating an awesome landing gear uh, physics system so that as these gears touch ground, they displace and move, as you can see. So um, the landing gear can also retract and detract, which is also very important as it's going to be harder to fly, you know, with your landing gear enabled. But um, you've got to deploy them before you come into land or you risk damaging your ship. And they're also, you know, we've got to make sure the ship's level and it's got stable ground to land on. And the, the gears will displace depending on the evenness of the terrain. You can't really see it here as this is a flat ground, but if there were slight bumps in terrain, the, the gears would be at different heights and, and they'd adjust accordingly. So we wanted this to be really impressive, not only um, from the inside, but you know, from the outside as well. So you can witness firsthand, you know, this huge ship just landing right next to you. And this physics system really helps to like convey the weight of this moving ship and like the size and scale of it. So and it's also in like super cool, to see, you know, the hangar bay draw just drop down and three of your friends just walking down off the ramp. So, you know, it's all going to be amazing. Um, so in addition to this, um, you know, we want to create some other effects of this, you know, make it look even more awesome. Um, some dust particle effects as the, as the gears touch ground. So you can see all the dust fly up and stuff. And we're looking into methods of um, tree physics and things like that. So um, having trees actually bend over and uh, as you as you lower your ship to the ground and the wind blowing them back from the engine and things like that just more things to make it more cool and things like that so so um yeah here's another look at uh, one of the ship systems there the landing gear um that'll be controlled from the cockpit with uh, a lever with uh, some of the other essential systems there as well so um i hope you guys like it
Right. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, Dev Diary session. Um, as I said, we're going to keep doing them weekly. Um, try and keep them short and informative. You know, this was uh, only a couple of five or six minutes long, this one. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, uh, we're just going to show uh, bits and bobs that we've been doing um, from week to week and, uh, you know, uh, advancements we've been making and tweaks and um, things like that and big innovations. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting the live streams going again because I know some of you have been asking when the next one is. So um shouldn't be too long till we get that going again. But that does take a bit of organising and... Um, preparing uh, you know what we want to show you guys and making sure everything is correct so uh, we'll let you know when the next one's coming out um, as I said before there should be a uh, written word blog that will go up on the website that will run parallel to this these video series um, that's not up right now but I'll, I'll let you guys know on Facebook and Twitter if you want to go ahead and read that uh, it'll be a bit more descriptive um, as opposed to this which is more visual and stuff like that um, as I said I think earlier as well Kickstarter is coming up quite soon guys so um you know, all of you that are still following Wayfarer, you'll have the opportunity to pre-purchase and uh, buy into the alpha and uh, get yourself some um, little goodies as well, at the, the higher tier prices and things like that. So that's coming up as well. Um, and also what I want to do, uh, you know, uh, if you guys have got a question or you want me to explain something to you or talk more about a subject, um, just write it in the comments below of the YouTube video here and uh, you know I'll, I'll take the best ones next week the ones that have got the most likes or whatever and um, you know I'll answer them for you and do my best to explain if you're unsure you want to know more about certain mechanics and things like that so um, yeah give this video a like guys uh, share it with your friends you think might be interested and um, I'll see you in next week's episode bye <laughs>